Good morning. It is 6.07 a.m. on Friday, May 1st. Can you believe we've made it to May? Uh, all of the images in this little vlog were created with the handheld Sony 200 to 600 and the A92. The 200 to 600 has been hard to get, but Steve Elkins emailed me yesterday and told me they have eight in stock. I'm not sure how he is with the A92, but he can get you those in a bit. So, at a neighbor, I took a lady out for some private lessons last year, and I mentioned the Purple Martin House, and she said that belonged to her uncle, so I have permission to go back there. You'll see the location in a minute. So I took two snaps here, and this bird right here makes this one a keeper, and this one a delete. See how the bird's turned away? So even with a small in the frame photo showing the house, uh, you're gonna see minor differences. So this one can be deleted, command delete, goodbye. And that gets us to my iPhone 11 shot. And this is really the lesson for today. You'll notice that my shadow is pointed right at the Martin house. You'll notice a second Martin house across the way. It's much taller than this one. So this one's great for photography. The key here in morning light, a little bit of haze in the air. You see the light clouds in, in the west is that there was a nice stiff breeze, about 15 miles an hour, coming right over my left shoulder, right here. So the birds are gonna be flying in on either side of the house, but they're gonna be slowed down by the wind and they're gonna be facing the camera for the most part. So that's the key. If it were morning with a west wind, you didn't see the two birds here uh, sitting facing into the wind. The birds are always going to take off, land, and perch facing into the wind so it doesn't ruffle their feathers. So now we're going to switch to the actual flight shots by going to the red selected. We start at the top. And with that nice wind right behind me, it was really, really good. I got more keepers here, 28 flight keepers than I ever had in a single session. This one's pretty sharp, certainly sharp enough. And you'll notice the exposures. Every image here is a 2500th of a second, 6.3 at ISO 1250. I'm gonna run through them. Yeah, never changed once. Oh, there I was at, dropped the ISO, to, oh, raise it to 1600th for a second. So you might go, well, Artie, this is not possible. Here you have an all black bird. And here you did, uh, I think it's a ring turtle dove. And that's much lighter tonality. And then you have some of the female Martins. They obviously need a little more exposure, a, high, a, a little less exposure because they have white on them. But the fact is with the Martins, the males and females coming so quickly, you really have to do a one size fits all. And there's a great tip on zebras for this situation in the new guide, where the new Sony guide, where you will want to have the sky totally zebraed to get the right exposure for the darker Martins. So this one is nice. This is a different pose, sort of sweeping up, pretty good, can get rid of the house, no problem. Looking back, not my favorite, pretty sharp. This one, even sharper. So different poses, you're looking back at the house. And then the turtle dove, dove flew over, ring turtle dove, I believe, for two frames. Same exposure, amazingly. And what I actually, this one is a keeper, and this is a delete. You'll see that the wing is not fully spread and it's not as nicely lit. So that's the keeper and that's the delete. Continuing on, oh my Lord. Here comes one with a dragonfly and sharp. It's a green donner. 
This one will probably get converted someday. This one, again, sharp. Now, getting rid of that is easy. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. Black subjects are very difficult for any autofocus. With Canon, it was pretty much impossible to ever get a sharp one for me, regardless of lens. With Nikon, I might get a few sharp. With Sony, with these difficult black subjects, I had about 50% sharp. I had some where I felt I was right on the bird. Now, what you're not seeing here are the 350 images that I deleted, either because of unsharpness or more likely because of either poor wing positions or simply operator error, where I just botched the framing. You know, the two to six for me is hand holdable, but after a while it gets a tiny bit on the heavy side but it is actually deadly having a handheld 600 millimeter lens, even at the relatively slow aperture of f6.3 is a godsend. And you've seen tons of stuff on the blog. Great lens to start with for Sony. And then another frame, so three in a row. I uh, forget which one I optimized. And you'll see that tomorrow and that'll include cleaning up that poop on the wing. Then a female coming to the house, super sharp. Yeah, this will take some work here, unless you want to leave the house and crop like this to show the house in the environment. A male sort of breaking, pretty sharp. Another female, super sharp. This one's easy to lose the house or crop. And a male with a sort of silly posture. I get rid of that compared to what I got. Command delete. Then the same bird a second later. Beautifully sharp. Not a bad wing position. Smaller in the frame. Sharp. Probably never do that one. Never optimize that one. Similar. Of these two, I'll pick this one a little bigger in the frame. So we can delete this one, command delete. And sort of not my favorite pose. In a perfect world, there'd be a little separation between the tail and the wing. Then a nicer pose, super sharp, stand up to a crop from here. And then a double header, super sharp. And again, not everyone was sharp, even when I thought I did everything perfect. So even Sony doesn't get them all sharp. But again, a black bird, for whatever reason, gives Sony the most difficulty. But still, I got 27, 28 keepers and then a female. So this exposure was probably best for the females, which meant I could have gone to ISO 1600 for the males. Even nicer frame showing more of the underwing. Then the male landing at the house with a, friend, with a friend. I could level this and crop from here and here. And then ending with just a couple of now ordinary compared to the dragonfly shots. But the message here is that not as sharp as the others, and that's the last one. So this one I see as a little bit sharper than this one. So we're going to get rid of this one. But again, the message is that this was all possible because of the, the nice 15 mile an hour breeze, pretty halfway decent wind right from over my left shoulder that slowed the birds down. The amazing uh, AF accuracy of the A92, even with these difficult subjects. And tomorrow's blog post will deal with the, uh, I think I optimized this one. Not positive. But to bring up some detail in the underwing, add a little canvas on top. So thanks for being with me. Best way to thank me for these vlogs is to go to the Burgess.online store and spend some money on educational stuff, especially the new Sony guide. You can get it now by PayPal. 
and we'll have it in the store no later than Tuesday. God bless, be safe, and we'll see you out there. Cheers.